Sneaky Nation, welcome to Skyforge. This is a free-to-play game that's available on the PC, and we are officially starting a series on it today. I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to go on for. I don't want it to be an endless series, but it definitely will have a good number of episodes at the very least. And I checked it out. It seems like there is a good amount of content in this game, so this, I imagine, will be a pretty long series, but not overly long, if that makes any sense. But this was originally suggested by Vamp and Harmony because they play the game. They thought it would fit in well with some of the other games I played, my taste in gaming. And I took a look at it and it looks like it's going to be an awesome game, so I'm very excited about trying this out. I hope you're excited too. A lot of you may actually know what this game is already. It's been out for a little while. And actually, since announcing that I'll be doing this series, Goku started to get into the game again. He used to play it back in the day, I guess, then he stopped. And then even LaFro made a new account and he started playing it, so... It's bringing the Seeky Nation community together. I thought that was really cool. By the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we talk all the time in our Discord server, which if you are not already part of, you should definitely join by clicking the link in the description below. It's completely free to join, and we use it as kind of like our Seeky Nation community hub where we talk to each other about all kinds of random things, and it's fantastic. But anyways, we're going to be getting this series. I hope you're excited about it. I'm very excited to finally try it out, and let's do this. Alright, so character creation time. So we can be male characters or female characters. Let's just look at the presets really quick. I'm sure we can ultimately change some of the different aspects. This is just like a kind of like a base character to start with. Oh, look at him. He kind of looks like a serial killer that I saw in Colonel of Mines once. Yeah. Wait, is that the same guy? It looks exactly like him. That's kind of creepy. Ugh. Vamp probably like that one. Uh, I feel like he's like a future soldier that I've seen before. I just can't quite picture him. Yeah, he doesn't look like anybody specifically. He looks like he should be on <laughs> Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, something like that. Or maybe the lead character Days Gone, who knows. Uh, he seems like he should be part of Bloodborne or Dark Souls or something. <laughs> he fits in perfectly with that. And... Oh! Breaking Bad, everybody! Where's your twin? Gonna go try to take out Hank again? Yeah, I know. I'm on to you. Alright, so let's start with this guy. I don't really have anything bad to say about him specifically. He doesn't look like anybody that I can think of, but he does look like he'd be kind of creepy. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's make people uncomfortable. Check out the female characters too. Well, hello there, miss. Hello there. That doesn't seem like appropriate attire for this world. Uh, I'm not even gonna point out the fact that something jiggling there either. She looks like she's kind of badass. Wow, <laughs> those are some pretty impressive physics there. Check that out. She seems like she should be like a superhero or super villain or something. Yeah, physics everybody. That's physics. Okay, that's not appropriate attire either, but I guess you're kind of like a Final Fantasy character of some sort. And then... All I have to say is physics. <laughs> that's it, okay. We'll just start with this guy. Okay, of course, so it's just a baseline character, and then we're going to customize. By the way, if you don't know what this is, it's a, actually like a sci-fi MMORPG. And it reminds me a little bit of Destiny, just without the guns, if that makes any sense. There's a lot of farming and whatnot involved in it, too. A lot of different classes that we can go with. I guess we start with three different classes at the beginning, and we'll go from there. We're going to check out every aspect that we possibly can. It's a body type. I really don't want to mess around this much. I mean, I could be here all day messing around with this. Portly or muscled? Why is he a little bit portly? Should be a little bit muscular. Oh, damn. Ladies won't be able to keep their hands off him. Alright, let's try to cut down the temptation a little bit. Let's put it somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, ladies. No touching. <laughs> Unless you got $2. Alright, so features... Skull size? Oh, he needs some big hands. Everybody knows that's very indicative of different things, which actually kind of small. <laughs> oh, damn. Can't touch this. Buttock size? Alright, we need something so that people have something to look at when I'm walking away. Just a little bit. Yeah, that works. Bootay. Face presets? Alright, let's take a look. Oh, look, it's the serial killer again. <laughs> I swear that looks exactly like him. Uh, kind of looks like Jason Statham with hair, so. Nice. 
Yeah, maybe a little bit, not too much. Uh, yeah, most of these are just the characters from before. Santa Claus! I didn't know you were involved in this. <laughs> oh, man. I do declare. <laughs> uh, boom chicka wah wah. Oh, that one fits too. Boom chicka wah wah. What's with the sad face, man? You should be happy. We're gonna go kill a lot of things. Oh, he looks like that kid from the freaking True Blood. That vampire. I think people know who I'm talking about. You get my references. I'm keeping up to date with stuff, even though I guess that series is over. So, it's kind of old now, but it was relevant at one time. Alright, so... Oh, I kind of want to be Santa Claus. Oh, man, why does he have to have the ponytail? That's so lame. We can change the hairstyle, though. Santa Claus! Buzz cut. <laughs> Santa Claus is joining a motorcycle game. Actually, I think I might go with that one. Take a look-see. <laughs> Emo Santa. Oh no, Santa with a mohawk. We need, we need that one. <laughs> Game over. Game over right there. Mustache and beard. Um, I think we're going to keep the same one, although I didn't want to see what this looks like. Well, it wasn't as funny as I was hoping. Damn it. Yeah, nice bushy beard. <laughs> you know, they say that that contains a lot of feces, so... Come give me a smooch, ladies. Hair color? No, he's got to remain white. He's got to remain white. Skin color? Alright, he needs to be kind of pale so he matches up with me. Damn it, I think that's a little too pale. But I guess that's mostly realistic. <laughs> I'm clearly creating myself in this game right now. I mean, nobody's denying that. Okay, eye shape? Brow size? Let's leave that one alone. Leave that one alone. Okay, just leave, <laughs> leave all that alone. Eye color, he needs some blue eyes. Blue. There we go. I think that one's probably the closest to me. Nose shape. Eh, he doesn't have quite a honker on him. Oh, that's the, the little nub thing there. Yeah, he needs a bit of a tip there. Just a bit. Not too much. The length. <laughs> hey, Owen Wilson. How's it going? All right. Give him a somewhat normal looking nose. Alright, I can get behind that. And that's good enough. Alright, let's go. To the next one. <laughs> he looks so bad. <laughs> he looks badass though, you have to admit. Okay. Oh, put him in a suit. Ooh. Do it with some style. That feels like a Final Fantasy costume. That feels like a Bloodborne costume. Oh man, who am I thinking of? That looks just like somebody's costume. Alright, you know what? I think we're gonna... Check out the different colors. <laughs> you know what? I have to. I have to. <laughs> Santa Claus is, <laughs> is business casual. Just kidding. He's all business. Okay. Headwear. I don't want to wear anything in my head because it's going to cover up the mohawk. Even though that makes him look like a biker <laughs> in the business field. <laughs> oh man, this is too funny. I mean, that'd be nice if I didn't put so much work into customizing his face. Yeah, I want to see the Mohawk. Let's keep that. <laughs> oh, an eye patch. Oh, Bane, what's up, man? Kind of like Bane, not really. Let's cover up his beard, though. I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. Just no. Let's give him a nice eye patch, though. Damn, why is there not a black one? Where's the black color when you need one? Alright, that one kind of works. Let's do it. Earrings? Eh. Nah, let's not go with earrings. Tattoos, though. 
It's part of the... <laughs> the Star Gang. Oh. He's part of an Indian tribe? That's kind of cool, actually, coming off of the beard. Let's keep going, though. That's kind of cool, too. Huh. That'd be kind of badass without the eye patch. What kind of freak is that guy? Uh, let's keep going. Oh, this is too much fun. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's in a game. He's seen some things. Let's go and take off the eye patch now. That is kind of cool. Let's go with that. I like it. I like it. Alright, so. <laughs> Let's do this. Sneaky G, baby. Oh, damn it. Sneaky G. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. What if I do... XX. Sneaky G. XX. There we go, that works! That works! Alright. Wait, can I capitalize some and lowercase all those? Oh, I thought they were all just capitalized, okay. Gotta make sure it fits the channel, you know? Just in case somebody comes across me, they know who they're messing with, you know? Those should both be lowercase, as should that one at the beginning, which I don't think it's gonna let me, is it? Dane Nabbit? Alright, you know what? We'll just make them all capital then. That looks so stupid. Let's <laughs> just get started. Look at that. The capital in all its beauty. Nothing else like it. Yep, we're lucky. Not every day you meet an immortal. Immortal? Really? <laughs> Why don't you find out? Zip it. Have some respect. Okay, prep for arrival. Almost there. I don't want to pat myself on the back or anything, but I think we did a great job with this character. I thought that eye patch was going to be cool, but that just works perfectly. Alright, so let's do this, Captain. So yeah, there are a lot of cutscenes in this, there's some kind of actual story, so this is going to be really awesome. It kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy... no, Fantasy Star Online, rather. Pretty cool. This is Alenar. Here's the research center. Well, glad I could help out an immortal. Thank him for bringing you to the capital. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now bow down before me. Yes. You will meet with Harida, goddess and advisor of the immortals. There's no one in Aelion more wise and judicious. Farewell, and may the fates smile upon you. Yeah, let's finish here. Judicious? Does that mean she's gonna get in my way? Oh, holy hell, lag fest right now. Okay, it's all over. It's all over. Goddess advisor. Welcome to Aelinar. I take it you had a pleasant trip. I am Harida. I will help you settle into your new life. Oh yeah? You want to get married? Looks like we're about the same age. I'm just kidding, I'm a little bit younger. A real goddess, so I didn't just luck out and become an immortal. I'll also be tutored by gods. Yes. We're becoming a god, everybody. That's the point of this game. New life is a rare privilege. Immortality. It is something we don't yet fully understand. What do I do now? What awaits me here in Elinar? Oh, be patient. To find your path, you must first look inside yourself. I was told you were reborn after a tragic encounter with a Reaper of Death. Is that true? Do you think you could tell me about it? She's awfully nosy. She is trying to learn about me so she can put some moves on me. Find out my likes and dislikes. There was a fight. I remember the impact, the pain, the darkness. And then suddenly, a bright light. I wake up and everyone around is dead. Thanks to me. A great path lies ahead of you. The way is different for every god, so I cannot advise you on yours. Any path is connected to faith one way or another. If you want to become a god, 
You need to open your heart to the tragedies of ordinary people. Help them selflessly, and you will see that they support you with their faith. Remember to use your new powers wisely and with kindness. But to do that, you must first learn to control them. I know someone who can help you with that. I'm pretty selfless. I just highly suggest that they give me money in exchange for my efforts. And if they don't, I kill them. It's... I don't think I'm asking too much here. Then again, maybe I am. Who knows? Alright. Go to the research center. Down here. This place is kind of cool. This is like the mothership. I wonder if there are vendors here and everything. What are these? I don't know. I guess we'll learn about all this stuff later. Just keep following the quest line. Damn, I'm still pretty happy about this character. <laughs> it's so badass. God, scientist! A rookie. Hello. Liking immortality? Not getting to your head? Oh, my manners. I'm Flavius. I'm trying to advance science here while others are waving their swords. You serious, bruh? Come on now. Really? Come on, bruh. Of course I'm serious. Aside from me, no one's even trying to understand how things work in this world. Do you know where you are, sir? Have you been taking any drugs? You are glowing blue, literally. What have you been injecting yourself with? Oh, Give right. me some. This is my holographic form. No time to flit about. And there's so many immortals nowadays. Just so much to do. Right, back to business. Oh yeah. Just conveniently has an explanation for everything, doesn't this guy? Remind him about the training. Well, what are we waiting for? That transport capsule? You're getting in. I'll join you in the training hall. Um, I don't want you to join me. I didn't sign up for this. Alright, use the capsule to visit the training hall right over here. Let's go. So what's going on here? This game is pretty damn laggy. The hall's completely virtual. I've been doing all of our training here ever since my lab was nearly destroyed. What happens next? But first you'll need to pick a class. I'll show you how. Pick an available class and you'll learn its basic abilities. How about that for a miracle of science? Can I change my class later? Of course. But you can always change your class at any time. Well, that's convenient. You're not set in stone with your decision from the beginning of the game. I like it. Okay, so Paladin. I have a feeling that's going to be the one I want to stick with. What's this one? Cryomancer? Alright, so like a mage kind of. Lightbender. Is that like the healing class, maybe? That's what I guess. Alright, I'm definitely feeling the Paladin. The Paladin is a melee fighter. Average damage, but high survivability. In a group, they draw the enemy's attention to themselves. Yeah. They are a simple defense class. They take longer than the Cryomancer to kill an enemy, but die less often. I think that would fit in nicely, so let's... I guess we'll select them. We'll do some episodes later on the other classes, by the way. We're just gonna start the game with the Paladin. Ultimately, we want to try everything. The, why am I wearing a stupid looking helmet? I want to see my Mohawk. Alright, so what do we do now? Uh, to view the abilities of the class, press I. Alright, so let's see. Righteous Blow. Attack the enemy with the sword in. Inflicts uh, 2 to 3 damage. I'm not sure if that's good. It sounds like it's pretty bad. First attack in the basic combo. And then we also have Waves of Wrath. Uses a sword to attack nearby enemies, inflicting 15 to 16 damage and knocking them down. The weaker the enemy, the longer it stays down. This ability does not require a target. Consumes righteous anger. And then... Celestial Shield? Creates a shield that absorbs damage equal to 12% of the Paladin's health. If the shield is destroyed within 6 seconds, it will explode and deal 29 to 31 damage to nearby enemies. Well, that's nice to have a little backup insurance policy there. 
Although if it's blown up in six seconds, clearly you're not going to survive that fight. And then what does it just keep going up? Wait, can I equip these right now? Or they're just not unlocked yet? Oh, you know what? Maybe they upgrade later. Yeah, I'm not sure that works. And what's this one? Execution? Um, inflicts fatal damage available when the enemy has a small amount of health left. Restores righteous anger. So I guess it's a good idea to mix those in every once in a while. This kind of reminds me a little bit of League of Legends, too. In a weird way. Alright, so what do we do now? Talk to you. What's up, Polygraph? Practice for a little while on these tin cans. You can leave once your training is complete. And don't worry one bit, it's working. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah, thanks. I was wanting to be a paladin since I was a young little lad. Back in the day. In a tricky situation, you have the Argus system to offer you advice. And of course, I invented it. Yeah, I'll bet you did. Actually, maybe he did. Remember, you're a paladin. Use your combo attacks. That voice reminds me so much of Portal. <laughs> what you see now is a path. These enemies are weak on their own, but a group of them can be extremely dangerous. Eliminate them using an area of effectability. Alright, so how do we do that? Just... Oh, nice! Alright, so we have to use the first ability once and then we can use the second one. Bow down before me, suckers! Almost got all of them with that. Yeah! What's next? You just want me to keep doing it? Oh, wait a minute. Attack a group of enemies with an area of effect ability. Alright, so I've done it six out of eight times. There we go. Totally missed on the upper right hand corner. For a start. Enemies that are strong, but few in number, should be killed one by one. Use abilities that inflict significant damage to a single target. One by one, they all fall down. That's all you want me to do? Oh wait, use Punish and Bolt by pressing left, left, right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Single target ability. Warning. Your main resource, righteous anger, is running low. You need to restore it. Otherwise, your attacks will not be inflicting full damage. Alright, so it said we could restore that by doing the E execution, but we can't currently do that, obviously, so use punishing bolts and then restore righteous anger. I'll just keep doing left. Oh, alright. That works too. Takes a little while to get it back, but that's all right. Finish him off at the same time. Take that, sucker! Get some more, all right. Restore righteous anger and attack the enemies. All right. One more. Good. I'd even say excellent, but exaggerating your abilities is not in my program. Shut up, smartass. There's a special trick that will save your life more than once. It's called Dash. It allows you to escape attacks. Perform three dashes to learn how to use it. Okay, so... Just hold shift and then move? Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Sometimes you can avoid damage. Take a closer look at the enemy. Some attacks take time to execute. You can evade them. Alright, so eliminate the enemy while evading its special attack. The Verd's axe starts glowing when he is about to use his special attack. Alright, let's try it. Ah! Ah! Never! Damn, I don't think this is working too well. I need more recourse.
Oh, I'm just supposed to eliminate him while I'm dodging. All right. Yeah, I don't have enough to keep casting it. All right, it's gonna be a little bit wonky at first, but we'll get the hang of this eventually. Wrecked. If you cannot dodge enemy attacks, use Shield of Light. This ability will create an aura around you that absorbs incoming damage. All right, let's give it a shot. Sweet. Don't blow up in six seconds or you'll be sorry. You've been warned. I'm just supposed to get a hit now. Oh, use it again. There we go. Give me all that damage. Yeah, that's the stuff. All right, now time to wreck him. That's it. Pfft. Give me a break. Very good. Now take out this group of mechanoids. Eliminate the mechanoid, 0%. Eliminate the oculat group first by using area of effect abilities. All right. I can manage that. Focus on them first. Go. Wow, this is lagging like crazy. What is with this game? Repair rod restores health to all nearby enemies. Disable it if you do not want the fight to go on forever. Disable it! I don't want to fight forever. Who would ever want to? Come on, I need some of that energy back. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There we go. All right, now we're ready for some action. Yeah, they never stood a chance, really. <laughs> Your next pal. Finishing strike. Send it out with a bang. I like this logic. Your training is complete. You showed good results. Although I could have been more precise had I actually taken measurements. Was there another smart ass comment? I'm not sure, it kinda sounded like it was, but at the same time, not really. Screw you, you portal wannabe. Alright. Flavius? Almost forgot. You can change your appearance at any time. Just talk to Quinta, our stylist. Well, that's about it. If you need me, you always know where to find me. Oh, and Harita said she'll be waiting for you in the Divine Observatory. Ah, uh, well, good for her. Let's go speak to her, I guess. We have nothing else to do around here. Am I here on my own free will, or did I get suckered into this? I don't know. Alright, we're back here. Harita. What do you have to say to me now? Excellent choice. Each combat school is more than just a set of skills. It is a special path, a philosophy. Call whatever you want, lady. Let's look around the Divine Observatory, though. It is time for you to learn about the mission of Aelion's gods. Come closer to the model of the planet. Yeah, let's let's do that. Listen. Do you hear that? Millions of voices are calling to us for help, begging us to save them. Here in the observatory, their prayers reach our ears. We are gods, but not almighty. But it is in our power to save lives, eliminate threats, and offer hope. Go. Aelion is waiting for you. Complete our first quest, sweet. That is awesome. Alright, so first combat mission, go on the Danket Island Adventure by using the planet model. Uh, F, press the button to receive your reward. Let's check it out. What is it? Alright, so 2,000. What are those credits? With the premium, we could have gotten 4,000. Whatever. I'll take 2,000. I don't care. Alright. Oh, is that a real person? Hi, guy. How's it going? Weird looking guy, you. <laughs> what is your name? BX Spiro? Cachus? Abel Nash? Eri Xave? Zave? 
People all over the place. All right. I'm making fun of his name. I have the weirdest looking name here. It doesn't really make any sense. Why are there X's around your first and last name? Shouldn't it be around like the first by itself or the last by itself? Why is it? It doesn't make sense. You have to read it all at once, okay, people? Okay? It makes sense. I promise. All right, everybody. So that'll be the end of this first episode. I hope you enjoyed. We just checked out the tutorial, got an idea of what this game is kind of like. In the next episode, we'll be heading in to actually doing our first real mission out in the universe. It's going to be pretty exciting, so I hope you're excited about checking it out, and I will see you next time.